Question, has anyone ever run out without paying? Oh boy, we're starting off hot. So people have definitely tried doing this in the past. I had a guy that came in, I made a sandwich, and then he was like, oh, let me run to the car real quick to grab my wallet. And he grabbed his sandwich and tried taking it with him on his way out. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Sir, leave the sandwich, come back in. And once I did that, he kind of realized that, okay, I can't pull a fast one on this man. So he went out to his car, grabbed his wallet, and then came back in and actually paid. And I was kind of surprised. I thought he was just going to walk out. But I've also had people who would try grabbing a drink on their way out, and I would have to be like, no, 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 you didn't pay for that, dude. You got to come back. Or something like a bag of chips, too. And it's always really frustrating. And once I actually had to run out and hunt a person down, they literally walked out without paying for anything. And I realized, I was like, wait a second, did that person just not pay? So I literally ran down the street and was like, yo, you forgot to give me your 9.79. And I mean, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I mean, a bag of chips is what, $1? And cookies are free. You already know that. But it's more about the principle. Next question Has anyone ever asked why you have your phone around your neck while making a sandwich? Ah, uh, yes. I think I've talked about this once before, but in the beginning, this happened to me so, so much. Also, my phone doesn't hang around my neck. That would be extremely uncomfortable. Shout out to Dylan. But rather, I have it around my chest on this little harness doohickey. And it sits very comfortably around my chest, I must say. But it makes everyone think I'm really short. But yes, in the beginning, customers would always come in and ask me why I'm filming myself making a sandwich. I mean, that probably looks like the most ridiculous thing ever. Literally just filming myself making a Subway sandwich. I mean, like, what? And in the beginning, I would tell them it was for training videos because low-key, I, I was going to use them for training videos. These, these videos are a great way to learn how to work at Subway. But eventually I got comfortable enough and I told everybody how I make TikTok and YouTube videos. And now it's literally just a given when people come into my store. They know that I just wear my camera around and I'm kind of trying to film everything for content and people love it. Literally most of my customers are now from these videos and they watch my content and I love every single one of them so, so dearly. And the last question for the day, what is the most weird combination of meat, veggies, and sauces anyone has ever asked you to make? Okay, bye far. It's gotta be this man. Some person came into my store and asked me to put every single vegetable onto the sandwich and then he wanted no meat originally and then he told me to put five different sauces onto it. I'm pretty sure it was like sweet onion, chipotle, southwest, mayo, mustard, and ranch. And I was like, okay. And then before I closed up the sandwich and this thing was a monstrosity to close up, let me tell you. I didn't even know how I was gonna close it up at first. And then he told me to put meatballs on. The balls of meat. And I was like, oh my god, how am I gonna do this? Honestly, it was definitely Definitely one of the hardest sandwiches I've ever made. And I've, I've made more complex sandwiches before, but usually those would be for videos. Like the all sauce sandwich or the everything sandwich. That thing's a classic. But there's also been plenty of other customers that have gotten, uh, well, monstrosities to say the least. <coughs> Tuna and meatballs. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you enjoyed this format and ask me more questions in the comment section. I'm really looking forward to answering your questions and you have to be subscribed to me for me to answer your question. I only pick subscriber questions. And make sure you like this video too. Peace and love, everybody. Have a beautiful and blessed. Day. Remember to turn on those bell notifications and remember, eat fresh.